Hello guys and welcome back to another Bitcoin market update. Today, again, we're going to talk about the Bitcoin dominance and also Bitcoin, of course. Now guys, I have been recording from my phone over the last two weeks or so because, well, I just moved in a new apartment complex and I was the first person to move in. And so... I'm being reasonable. The landlord told me that they're going to get the internet installed this week. So hopefully that is the case because you guys definitely deserve uh, top quality content. So I'm not being lazy. I'm just working with what I've got for the time being. Now, guys, I don't want to bore you with my personal stuff. What is going on with Bitcoin? So. We're going to start on the weekly time frame and we're getting an interesting situation here. We have the purple line, which is the 200 weekly moving average, and that is sitting at $22,878, basically $22,900. Very important for Bitcoin to hold above this price because we are working on a weekly candle that could potentially close above our purple line that is important if we want Bitcoin to continue moving up. In addition to that, we have the yellow line on the weekly as well, which is the 10 moving average. This is a short term directional moving average. In fact, the shortest one that I use that is also sitting at $22,825. So $22,800 is definitely an area of support that the bulls need to hold for the short term. Now, we also take a look at the RSI on the weekly. And as you guys can see right here, we're really close to the resistance line, which is the this other white line. We have been rejected at that line a few times. So we're going to get a retest sometime soon if Bitcoin rallies above it. I'm sure that most likely we would see a rally on the weekly. Now, guys, let's go ahead and move down to the daily so we can zoom in and see what is going on in this rising channel formation. So basically, guys, we have this channel, higher highs, higher lows. This is an uptrend so far looking good for Bitcoin. BTC is trading above the blue line, which is the 50 moving average on the daily. So this is short term bullish. We are right now getting a retest of the 10 moving average down to the daily, which is uh, $22,800 as well. And so that is where we're getting this short term bounce right here, guys. So what I'm thinking here is if Bitcoin goes below $22,855, we are going to retest the following moving averages, that being the 20, which is the white line, and then the 50, which is the blue line. We have $22,000 as our 20 moving average, and then we have $21,400 as our 50 moving average. Now, we do have this big rising channel, and inside of it, we have a falling wedge this is down to the four hour time frame and right here guys this is the falling wedge as you can see we have the support line of the bigger rising channel along with the 200 moving average down to the four hour time frame these are both down here now this short term bounce we're getting is because down to the four hour time frame bitcoin is bouncing off the 50 moving average but as you can see oftentimes once we lose the 10 moving average and the 20 moving average, we tend to, well, challenge the 50 moving average. And oftentimes we do go below it because do not forget that at the end of the day, the most important moving average is going to be the purple one, which is the longest. And so let's go ahead and pull the RSI down to the four hour time frame. Uh, it's not much going on there. So let's go ahead and move to our one hour chart. Wait, this is the one minute. Let's pull the one hour. And here we have it, guys. So 
I was predicting some sort of a Bitcoin correction uh, for a few days. For that reason, I entered a short position, a tiny, tiny short position, which I added more uh, to that position today. And here on the one hour, we can see that, well, here price action is going up, the RSI is going down. Therefore, I quickly spotted this bearish divergence. Now it is panning out to some extent as we've gotten a correction from all the way up around almost $25,000 down to basically $23,000. And so we have this falling wedge formation right now, right? Look at this candle up here. It looks like we might potentially be breaking out, but price action is still below the blue line on our one hour time frame. So I wouldn't be so sure like this is the breakout that is going to take Bitcoin higher above 25K. Now for the immediate short term, this is over the last maybe five hours or, or so. We did get a bullish divergence. We can see on the RSI down here, right? This area, the RSI put this low, which is around 32, so to speak. And then the price of Bitcoin itself went even lower at that time. So very, very short term, we did get a small bullish divergence. And maybe that is the reason why we are seeing this bounce. Because I added to my short position when Bitcoin was around $23,000. Now, guys, understand that over the weekly time frame, which is a more relevant uh, time frame, I am bullish, therefore, that's why I'm I'm doing only a very tiny short position in order to trade the the short term. But yes, guys, so far I would watch out for this downtrending white line. Like I said, so far we're breaking above it, but price action could just go back inside of this falling wedge formation more so. If Bitcoin loses the purple line down to the one hour time frame, which is going to be again $22,857. So this is a really important week for Bitcoin, guys. And like I've said a, a couple of times by this point, uh, we're likely gonna re-challenge this previous low if Bitcoin continues to go down, which is around $20,700. If we lose this low, this is gonna turn into a potential double top pattern, in which case we would at least retest this previous low at $19,000. So hopefully guys, Bitcoin does not lose this a previous low at $20,700. That is the most important low for the immediate short term. Then, of course, if Bitcoin just rallies above its previous high at $24,627, I would expect upside continuation towards this previous area of consolidation here, which is starting around $28,000 up to almost $32,000 dollars up here so that is what i think is going on in the immediate short term guys i enter i add it to my short position i am managing my risk by making it a a really small short position i guess that that speaks to my level of conviction in this short now, if you guys enjoyed the video, like always, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing so that you can remain up to date. And if you have any questions about cryptocurrencies or what I'm doing with my own trades, anything crypto related, make sure to join our Telegram community, which you can find a link to in the top comment below this video. You can join for free. Um, we talk about a bunch of things over there. It's just uh, interesting more so if you're just getting into cryptocurrencies and i will see you guys in the next video hopefully i have my internet set up by the end of this week all right guys bye